if I could get a transcript of your prayers, of what did you pray over this week, what would be the one thing that I would see you kept asking for? Was it this intimacy with God? Was it just, God, I cherish you above all things, and this is all I'm asking for, is get us close again. I just want to be close to you. Through prayer and, and through just reading the Word of God and just listening to His voice, you know, in the quiet times, um, I found courage. I found boldness to really just stand up for my faith and stand up for what I believe in. And so then when I looked to friends that were able to just pray so clearly and be able to confidently say what they wanted to say in front of a group of people. It was always kind of stressful for me because I didn't know how to find those words. Prayer was supposed to be the one way that you could personally talk to God. And so I had done that for months and nothing had ever happened. Even though I was praying to Him, I still just felt that guilt. I just didn't know what to do and I felt so lost. They would tell me that they were always keeping me in their prayers and they would pray for healing, but if He knows everything, what's the point of praying for it? At that moment, I was kind of like, maybe I should pray about it, maybe I should try something different, try something else, because everything else I've done never seemed to work. And this idea of prayer, like Paul says in 1 Thessalonians 5, 17, he says, pray continuously, like never cease praying. When we come before God, it's the one time we're before someone that we can't lie to. And rather than trying to come up with the perfect words, it's our one chance to go, God, you already know everything about me. That's what prayer is for. It's not just to get what we want, but to say, God, what do you want? I'm laying this before you. You just show me, because I really trust that your desires, your will is better than mine. So evaluate your prayers, because God doesn't want to just be this being that you go to asking for this, help me with that. But he wants to see in your soul that you actually love knowing the living God who sent his son to die for you.